Hi guys, welcome to Tree's Craft Some More. My name is Teresa, and today we're going to be making baked molasses French toast. So I have a 9 by 13 inch baking pan, which I'm going to coat with baking spray. I've coated the bottom and the sides of the pan, and I'm going to set that aside. Okay, so I have some croissants that I got at the store, and I'm going to cut them in half. They're not like day old um, croissants. I am layering them, just slightly overlapping them, not, you know, a lot. And I also have some kind of broken up pieces that I stuck down on the side to fill in right here where there was a gap. Altogether, there's uh, eight whole croissants in there. Okay, so now we're going to make the milk egg mixture. So we're going to crack six eggs into a good sized bowl here. One cup of milk, whole milk, one cup of buttermilk, one fourth a cup of um, unsulfured molasses, One teaspoon of ground cinnamon and one fourth a cup of light brown sugar packed. One fourth a teaspoon of salt and one tablespoon of vanilla extract. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to mix this together till it's combined. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pour the mixture over all the French toast here, all the bread. We're going to cover this and then we're going to put it in the refrigerator. Um, some molasses is stuck at the bottom here. We're going to cover this and we're going to put it over the refrigerator. Put it over the refrigerator. We're going to put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes at least. Um, but you can put it in the refrigerator overnight if you want to do that. Make it ahead of time. going to kind of squish it in there. I want to make sure that it's down in the, the liquid as much as possible. That all the pieces have gotten covered by the liquid. So I'm going to cover it and put it in the refrigerator. Okay, so I'm ready to bake it, and I have preheated the oven to 350, and I'm going to cover this with foil, and we are going to bake this for 30 minutes, and then we're going to pull it out and cover it, and we're going to add some toppings and bake it some more. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven for 30 minutes. Okay, so it's been baking for 30 minutes, and I'm going to uncover it. I've mixed up one tablespoon of granulated sugar and half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And I'm going to sprinkle that all over the top of it evenly. We're going to put this back in the oven, not covered, and we're going to bake it for another 10 minutes. 
and then after that you're going to want to let it cool for at least five minutes before cutting it into squares to serve it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let that set for five minutes before I cut it. So there you have my baked molasses French toast and I hope you guys give this a try and give my video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and thank you guys for watching. Bye!